Hello, hello, CS family. Welcome back to my channel, Chantel Stuff. It's your girl, Audra Chantel here, your hostess with the Moses, back with another video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I drop a video. Hop into the comments, let a sister know what's on your mind, and share this video with anyone and everyone. Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful day today. Wanted to hop on here and give you a little short video on how to keep the peace in your marriage. So when I say that this, it, there's just no perfect blueprint to follow, <laughs> there's no perfect blue, blueprint to follow, but these are some of the things that we do to keep peace in our marriage. And my husband and I, we of course, like I said in previous video, we have been married for um, 18 years. August the 28th will be 18 years. We've been together for 19 years. So have a little practice at this. <laughs> So some of the things that we do to keep peace in our marriages, first of all, um, I would sing. I always want to sing somebody else's song. I was getting ready to sing respect. Girlfriend can't sing. But to remember to always respect each other, right? Respect each other's thoughts. Respect each other's um, space. Respect e each other's emotions, which I display more than him. <laughs> respect each other's ideas and plans and goals respect each other right and always if you put your spouse before you let me just say how this is always going to be your best friend right and it's not to say that whatever you want all those kind of things don't matter but it puts your mind in a different place you will have a different perspective right so if you're thinking about you know, making sure that they're taken care of, pleasing them and making sure that they're at peace and that they have what they need, then you're not so focused on some of those things that you feel like you don't have or what's missing or what, you know, lacking and all of that kind of a deal. So, and what you give out is what you give back, what you get back, right? So you're going to get what you're given. <laughs> So if you're doing that, it's going to be done for you. And that's what I found in our marriage when we do that. It, it's, when I say it's just a, such a blessing, I'm like all pouring into him, trying to make sure my babe is taken care of. I'm like, I want him always to be comfortable when he walks in this door. I want him to have everything available to him that he needs, wants, and desires. And so I'm just always, you know, staying focused on him important to him and when I say he's staying focused on me important to me he makes sure sister is straight so that is huge for us I mean when I say that is huge for us and that keeps us at so much peace it really does um and then another thing that I you know that we do is I, I can't even tell you really uh I have to think hard about even one time of when my husband may have asked me to do something or asked me to stop doing something that I was uh, doing that was you know bothering him or he didn't like or or maybe I wasn't doing something that he wanted me to do so it's not very many times I can't even think of one right now and I'm struggling that's crazy um he's a lot better than me <laughs> you know sometimes I'll say babe hey how about do this that way but I get creative in how I'm asking him things and and if I want something done with um my words and and I make sure that you know, I'm not abusive and I'm not nagging and all those kind of things. So when it is something that I do, you know, want or want him to stop doing or whatever, sometimes I, you know, I'll ask in a kind way, a nice way. Sometimes I'll say that I'm a talker. I'm always saying something. I'm always talking, but I make sure that I'm not abusive or anything like that, or I'm not disrespectful and all of that. If, if, I even have an inkling of a thought that maybe I was, I make sure that I apologize. I get that right with him because I'm, I'm watching him and I'm watching his, his, you know, expressions and all of that. And sometimes his expression, I'm, I may take it wrong sometimes too, because you know, we all, you know, have these different expressions we make on our face. And sometimes you think it's one thing and it could be another. And so I'll just let him know, babe, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, to, to say that in a, a negative way or anything or come at you because I'll let him know in a heartbeat. I'm not, not your mom, not trying to be your mom. Okay. Cause that's stupid. Right. So, and he'll just let me know, no, honey, you okay. Or if I did, he'll say, yeah, you know, that, that did bother me. And I'll make sure that I get that right. Let me tell you how sister not trying to go back there and do that again. Right. So that's just how I do it. And a, a huge thing is, and I know in marriages, we, we're like, crazy about certain little things because we all have our little own quirky little ways and stuff um 
sometimes I just do it, whatever it is. Like if it's something that he did, and I know I hear like different people say all kinds of things. Oh my gosh, he just leaves his clothes everywhere. He's just trashy or he's just, you know, sloppy and careless or, you know, all these different things, you know, about their spouses. I'm always like, listen, you need to make sure you're covering that man first of all. Because <laughs> if you want to be covered, you better make sure you're covering him. You got his back. But if it's certain little things, you know, that I may want to be changed or I want him to do, I'll just do it. I'll do it for him. And if he sees me doing certain things or I've done certain things, he'll just hop in and he'll just he'll just handle business. He'll just do that, right? Uh, one thing, like I did that little video on that junk drawer in the kitchen. That junk drawer drove me freaking crazy because every time you open it, stuff is falling all out of it. You gotta dig to find what you need and it just drives me nuts. And so I'll, I'll organize it and then my husband would go back in there looking for stuff and he just and move stuff all around again. And by the time I go back in, it's all messy again. And I would just be like, okay, okay, okay now. He don't even be at home. I was like, okay now, honey, all right now. And then no sooner I start complaining, I remind myself, okay, so what are you doing that he's not even complaining about? What are you doing? I was like, okay, so stop tripping. Don't be tripping on this man. What can you do to fix the situation? So then, and I found this out just by sheer accident. I, I didn't even try to do this, but <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm a Ziploc freak, right? I use Ziploc bags for everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I went and grabbed the Ziploc bags and I organized the drawer, tore, took a whole bunch of, of the junk we wasn't even touching, hadn't touched in years, and that just kept, you know, um, screwing to just making the drawer just junky and threw all that stuff out. And the things that I wanted to keep, I organized in uh, Ziploc bags, like the colored pencils I have in the bag, the regular pencils, um, the markers like the scissors and you know i just put everything in its own little bag and then i placed it in a drawer in its own little spot so that way it's neat so when you go in there and get it you just open up the bag and you use it and put it back in the bag and there you go so now my drawer is straight well i didn't know that that was gonna keep my husband from wanting to even touch anything in the drawer at all <laughs> So he's like literally not wanting to go in there. I got the batteries in Ziploc. Okay, he don't even want to go get a battery <laughs> because he don't want to have to worry about getting into those Ziplocs and putting stuff back and putting it back in how I had it. So I was like, ooh, I just found out a little secret. So if you all want to keep your husband out the junk drawer and making it all crazy in the kitchen, organize it with Ziplocs. <laughs> but anyway, so these are just some of the things that, you know, that we do, but that, you know, we'll stand in the gap for each other. Like my husband knows. My husband, he's gonna leave a crumbs from the front door to the back door, right? He just, when I say, he gonna drop crumbs everywhere, he just do. And I used to, in the beginning, think like, oh my gosh, what kind of man? I mean, what are you doing? Why are you leaving these crumbs? Do you not see these crumbs? <laughs> you don't see that you have all these crumbs everywhere? And you know, I didn't really realize like, he doesn't see them all though, he doesn't. <laughs> so, he really wasn't seeing them. So what I decided to do for the crumb situation, I don't nag the man because I noticed that this is just part of what he does. He'll clean up behind himself and he'll get all those kind of things, but he just drops a whole lot of crumbs. That's just what he does. So I said, you know what I'll do instead of complaining about the crumbs, I'm gonna go clean the crumbs up. I'm just gonna do it myself. I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. It's just part of what I do. I started, I had to remind myself again, I shouldn't tell. What are you doing that he's just standing in a gap for you and taking care of and not even saying anything to you? He, he don't even tell me. I don't even know what it is. I'm really going to have to go dig and ask him. I'm going to have to do another video and be like, I'm going to go ask him, hey, babe, what is it that, you know, I do that, you know, straight get on your nerves or something that, you know, just bother you that you just going behind me taking care of? I'm going to find that out for you all and tell you. <laughs> That's going to be dropped in one of those video next videos. But, um, so these are some of the things that we do. And I, I know I'm like making, you know, a lot of light and it's a lot of fun, you know, but it really is and it can be a lot easier than what we make it. We allow some of these small things to drive wedges between our relationships when we don't have to do that, right? So we'll let the, allow the enemy to take that stuff and kill our marriage. Why? 
why that stuff is all simple and just small stuff, small potatoes, right? So we don't have to do that. And you can still take that same concept and apply it to the larger things, right? So even when me and my husband, we we don't argue. We've never had an argument in all these 19 years. We don't fuss and fight back and forth. Rah, rah, rah. We don't do that. We have had disagreements and we don't, and we've had strong words. We don't, we haven't had abusive words against each other. We haven't yelled at each other. Our kids have never even seen us argue because we made sure to keep whatever our disagreements were uh, 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 away from them. They never even seen us in a in a heated conversation, put it like that, because we don't argue. We came from, you know, relationships where we did that. I used to do that kind of foolishness, and it doesn't work. I mean, anyway, you know, and it's abusive. You, you hurt people when you do that unnecessarily. Then you try to go back and clean that up. So what we've decided to do is let's talk to each other. If we can't, and it's so heated that I can't talk to you, you can't talk to me because we're so heated, then we don't talk about that thing right then. You know, we go ahead with our own, with our lives and you go on work and we go to work and we do what we got to do. And then we come back to this thing after we had time to think about stuff and we come back with an open mind, right? That I'm going to listen to the, the other person. I'm going to listen to what they have to say. And then I'm going to respond to what they have to say. And we're going to meet each, some, each other somewhere in the middle and compromise on this thing, right? If we can't come to a compromise, we're going to table it and we ain't going to do nothing about it until we get on the same page and we're just going to keep on living life. That has kept so much peace in our house. It really has. It's just kept so much peace. Um, and we don't allow outsiders in our marriage, right? You're not getting in here because let me tell you how you don't get to come in here and tell me nothing about my husband. You're not doing it. And you don't get to tell him nothing about his wife. Nothing. If we need uh, counseling, we're going to go get that wise counsel. We'll go sit with the, you know, the pastor. We're going to sit with a counselor if we need that. We haven't thanked the Lord needed that because we decided from coming, you know, from different relationships where we did make bad decisions and do things like that, that we're not doing it in this relationship because we wanted to be healthy and we wanted to live. <laughs> we wanted to thrive and keep, you know, growing and, and, and blossoming and developing into this beautiful thing that we know it can be and that it is. That's why we still feel like newlyweds, but that's how we keep the peace, right? That's how we keep the peace. Even when it comes down to the kids and we can feel all kinds of different ways about the kids because, you know, the, the certain kids know which parent has, you know, that, that they have around their dang finger, which one to go to. And sometimes your kids, we even try to pit you against each other. And we let them know, hey, no, it's not you first. It's, it's us first. And we're going to take care of business together, right? And we're not going to let you come in between us doing any of that. So that is the biggest thing, too, to keep other people out. And don't be taking no advice from no single people, right? They're not married. <laughs> They don't have a clue about, you know, really what's going on. They might have an idea, you know, maybe they had a, a, a previous marriage. But if they're divorced, like, dude, I, I'm not, like, trying to talk to you right now. <laughs> not trying to do that. So we, we do that and we keep our ourselves and our space, you know, safe. And we keep it free of, you know, outside, you know, influences. And that has kept the peace for us, too. Um, so those are just a few little fun things, you know, you know, just to throw out there. I'm always saying like fun things. Everything is not always fun. <laughs> it don't always feel good, but at least after the fact, you know, you can come together and you can say, you know, you can kind of giggle and laugh at some things, you know, so... So that is just my little advice on today, just to drop you a little bit of how to keep the peace in your marriage. Hopefully this video helped somebody out. Hopefully this video lifted somebody up. You all have a phenomenal day and I will see you all in the next video. Deuces.